Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Showcase on Dark Souls 3. Since it has been decided I am covering bows, arrows, staffs, chimes, and what else fits in between that, I figured why not start with the very beginning one. I wondered how well or poor does it do. Well, I don't expect perfection here, nor am I really that much of a historian on bows and arrows, but here it is, the short bow. So the short bow. I think it was the the very first bow and created, maybe? Was a short bow? I don't know. Anyway, description of this weapon reads, Standard small bow. Its small size allows for quick shots. And instead of a proper description, this gives us a tutorial how to use it. Arrows must be equipped in order to use a bow. You don't say. <laughs> I thought you shot what? Children with it? <laughs> Jesus. It's a bad joke. Don't laugh at that. Up to two kinds of arrows can be equipped at a time, and use these switch, switch between as necessary. The skill is the rapid fire. Swiftly knock, notch arrows with finesse after drawing the bow, allowing for consecutive shots. Alright, we'll take a look at that. It's nice that these bows actually have skills. You know, like, something that's to differ, differentiate between each other. Because if they didn't, this would be pretty boring. But no matter. Now, visually... Well, it it's a bow. The short bow, to my understanding, it predates recorded history. No one's quite sure when it created and how it got so widespread nearly at the same time, according to carbon dating for most things. But it's the idea of propelling, pro propelling a thin object, light object, across a great distance. So you sharpen an end of stick, or put something sharp at the end of it, Launch it into wherever you want dead. That's generally how you want to do it. So yes. Now, is the short bow really the first created one? It's impossible to tell. It certainly predates all other current bows in history. I can at least tell you that much. Is it the first? Who knows? Maybe it came in designed or made something different. Maybe they didn't. The short bow was the very first. How it was made? Well, that's again something I have no clue. <laughs> you bend wood. You glue it together, have, you know, put pressure. I don't know. I'm not a bow expert, unfortunately. Going over the stats for the short bow. Well, physically, we got a lower than average damage. Actually, I don't know what the average damage for bows will be. So guess what? Let's put this mandate. 80, 80 physical is the average damage. Alright. Well, glad we're all in agreement. Now, for the bonus damage. Together, it only makes 100 damage. Because that's some pretty lack some pretty shitty bonus, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Anyway, for the range, we got 42. Our range is a bit ambiguous as I compared my previous great arrows, or great bows, but anyway. Tree of bonus, we got E and a D. E for strength, D for dexterity. Tree requirement, we got 7 strength and 12 dexterity. So not much. Now we have the rapid fire, which either arrow takes 4, so it's not pretty much. The way weapons, 2.0. So how does work? Well, I guess we'll find out well, won't we? Now, for animations, you got the basic shot, and then we got the stance. Animations are not very long. So you take a really funny stance here, but I do like this. How, boom, shoot him off like Robin Hood. <laughs> Where those arrows come from? Who knows? <laughs> okay, now for range. Now, we all see where I'm standing here, right in front of the usual area where I do these. And we can see we hit that wall pretty easily with no drop. However, we aim for the arc door, we can see it does drop about a foot or so, a foot or, foot or two. When upgrading the short bow, how can you? I I stopped asking questions about this a long time ago. I should I should do. <laughs> You'll need Tate Knight shards to upgrade your short bow. Now, for in terms of damage, you get a moderate amount. I wasn't expecting a lot, but bonus damage is only four points. And the base damage is 7. The Drew bones don't seem to be changing at all. I'm not sure if it will change. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Nope. Uh, nope, it doesn't plan to change at all. So in the end, we got pretty much close to 200 damage. So in the end, we kind of double the damage. Range is not increased, however. And it cannot be infused, because it's a bow. And for sake of this review, I'll be using standard arrows. Not the wooden arrows, standard arrows, because they have the standard range. Alright then. Performance, I have no clue how this is going to go down. 
could go down well, could go down poorly. So let's start with a headshot. Alright, 160 damage, and that was a basic hit. Uh, that was going to make a big difference. Just let off some quick shots. Look at this. Huh. Between these slow-moving opponents, you can certainly get a lot of hits in, can't I? Look at that. Oh, look at the leak. <laughs> Turning them into a pink cushion. <laughs> it's starting to turn a little comical now. <laughs> look at this. It's not very effective, but I will say one thing. It is incredibly amusing. <laughs> look at this. Oh, sweet Jesus. You die the way he lived. A pincushion. <laughs> oh, wow, that's ineffective. Fast. As good as... Has DPS. But not very effective. Oh, that was funny. Okay. That's a... Uh, got a few rapid shots here. Even against unarmored opponents, not particularly effective. Maybe you'd be doing alright in the original playthrough, but second playthrough? Nah. So there's a headshot. 333. It takes two headshots to drop him. Yeah, it takes two head, two arrows to the face to kill someone. <laughs> Alright, now, if I can't get through the shield, I'm not going to be fighting this guy very long. Sure enough, I aim right at the face and hit the shield. Let's get some rapid arrows in there. Yeah, this is doing nothing. He tries again. If I can't get that shield, I'm done fighting him. Let him loose. Nope, I'm not getting through that shield. Let's move on to the Gorgile. Gorgal is very slow, so I can take advantage of his slow movements. So there you have it. So, yes, you're using a lot of arrows, but these arrows are dirt cheap. Like, what, 10 souls each? And with only 10,000 souls, which you can get like in a matter of seconds, in a second playthrough, I could buy 500 of these things. Hmm. In terms of headshots, I don't think I'm going to get any good headshots. Maybe. Yeah, he swings around way too much. Huh. Yeah, I know we got a problem with him using his shield. Sure, I can get about enough damage in there, but... It gets the job done, but... They use up a lot of my stamina doing this. <laughs> and FP, too. Now, this is probably going to go down pretty horribly, fighting the Black Knight. Let's just aim for his head right about there. Or not, let's swing right over it. Let's just adjust slightly. Oh, again, twice went through his helmet that time, I saw that. There we go. Oh, only 170? Ooh, that's bad. Now the problem is that the Black Knight uses his shield. He only uses his shield against, you know, mo mainly projectiles. Which bodes, doesn't bode well for my short bow. So this is how I'm going to fight him. Dodging his moves at close range while shooting arrows. He's probably wondering, look at the balls on this guy. <laughs> short bow at close range. Turning him into a pincushion rather quickly. So I've got to be careful or I'll die. Ugh, this is not a good weapon to use to do this with. It was not intended to use, be used like this. And I have not used bow and arrows very much, as you can tell. Oh well. So far though, it's pretty decent. But in terms of damage, eh. It's just not there. Okay, gotta be careful here. I, I mean, you don't see that very often. Yep, he defeated me. Alright, let's move on to the pros and cons of the short bow. On the pros, has rapid DPS. And the stance is not bad. It's too bad lacks damage. Speaking of cons, it lacks damage. <laughs> kind of weak in the uh, firepower department. Yeah. I'm not sure really what else to, other cons to paint on this. It certainly has average enough range, and speed is definitely there, it's just damage not. But oh well. Let's move on with the score. The score for the short bow. Damage, I'm going to give it 3 out of 10. We'll assume that we will accept that this is the weakest of all the bows. So yes, a 3 out of 10. It's just a lot of arrows being poured out on enemies and turning on the pink cushions. As funny as that is, it's not a really good way to kill them. For range, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with the range at all. I think it was pretty satisfactory in terms of me hitting people in the head. Well, as wish I was a better shot. But the speed, well, we'll give it a 7 out of 10 as well. I'm not sure if there's any ones that are faster. Maybe the crossbows put it to shame, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. But we'll give the speed a 7 out of 10. I'm not sure if this is the definite view of it, but we'll, we shall see. 
Bonus, I'm gonna give it a 3 to 10 because it was craptastic. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a standard for bows, but it was pretty bad. And Misk, I'll give it a 3 to 10 as well because of all, all of the bows, this one, I can't see a lot of people using it or having a lot of use for it. See so, ya. Yeah. In total, the short bow gets 23 out of 50, which is bad because it lacks a lot of firepower. And that's pretty much the main reason in the end. So there we go. First bow, well, it's actually the second bow, and the first bow I did it was actually pretty decent. But this one's out of the gate, and it's not worth the time. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a running theme. Hopefully not. There's gotta be some bows and other stuff that's worth using, but we'll see. But anyway, that's been Showcase for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care out there.